What a day it's been. Welcome back to my channel, Big Country Customs, coming at you with a short, maybe short video on my X-Carve CNC. Uh, what spiked this video or sparked it is I saw a video on the X-Carve out there about a guy downplaying it. And, you know, he was saying that it was not a good machine. Um, don't buy it, you know. And then you have all these comments saying, thanks, you saved me thousands, blah, 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 blah. Let me tell you, that guy... I'm not going to mention his name because it's not a big deal, really. I'm just trying to put this video out there so maybe somebody doesn't take all of what he says um, to heart. That guy didn't even have a surface wasteboard, and he was complaining about breaking very, very small bits. I mean, smaller than a 32nd, according to him, which is teeny tiny. Um, with, like, with any CNC, there is a learning curve, and... If you have a very, very small bit, say a 64th, which I don't even know if they make, but that's half of a 32nd, right? So if that is indeed what he is using, and he doesn't even have a surfaced wasteboard, and he's cutting on a slope, he might have a flat board, but the board's sloped up just a tad. And then all of a sudden, he's cutting a thick, he's taking more out than he started where he, where he probed. And yeah that's that's gonna break a bit buddy so i mean i really just wanted to come on here and say that i've had my x carve for a year now and it has been fantastic it's not the fastest in the world no but it is only a two thousand dollar machine and on top of that people say it takes forever to assemble with so many parts okay you're paying two thousand dollars for a pretty big work surface i mean it's a very big work surface, 1,000 by 1,000. And, I mean, also, here's the thing, too. People don't want to put stuff together. But when you put something together, you know how to maintain it and fix it when it breaks because you put it together. So that did take a while for me. It took me 11 hours straight. I did it straight, 6 p.m. to 5 a.m., no stops, and I have very good results with my X-Carve. Uh, this is actually screwed down because it was cupped up, but I mean, that's for a flag union. The stars and the Shelby lettering take 20 minutes, okay? That's not bad at all. If I just did 50 stars, 25 minutes, and that's not me touching the speed at all on easel, like at all. That is the calibrated, what it's gonna run for birch plywood. I do wish they had pine as an option, but they don't. But the snake itself, I actually carve out with a 30 degree, 30 degree bit. And it takes about two hours, which is okay. I, I just start it and I go do something else and I end up with a, a pretty snake and it's really detailed. So, all in all, just letting you guys know that the X-Carve is an amazing machine. ESOL, once you learn it, is an extremely easy software to use. They have all these tools. Inventables ain't paying me to make this video as much as I wish they are, but that video that I saw just sparked this conversation. Don't take advice from a guy who has not even surfaced his wasteboard. Okay, if you're gonna get an X Carve or if you have one, you go to the Facebook group about the X Carve. And the X Carve has a ginormous Facebook group about with all the people that own an X Carve and use an X Carve on a daily basis. So, in the event that you're having problems, you like you can ask the questions, okay? And they'll answer any question you have or help you out, tell you your beat bits, your what bit to use, up cut, down cut for whatever material. Like it's been very helpful. I I didn't even know to use an up cut bit on PVC. But I guarantee you, if that guy had put a down cut bit on some PVC and complained about the X carve being bad, a lot of people are gonna like believe him and take his advice and word not to get an X carve. But the X carve so it's it's very well made. I have the bundle coming. So if you're watching this video and you want to see the bundle installed, 
and calibrated on my machine, the upgrade bundle, the new one they just released, uh, smash the sub button. I'm gonna be having videos step-by-step -step on that, on my install, showing you guys what I do, how I did it, and hopefully some calibration stuff in the computer. If I can get everything right, I'm not gonna give you guys bad content. But the upgrade bundle should make this snake that I carve out that takes two hours only take one hour. And that's a lot of material usage. That snake is probably six inches tall. So it's a lot of material to remove. Um, that's That basically wraps it up for me with X-Carve. I carve my juice grooves on my, my, uh, my, my cutting boards and all that with it. I've cut out all kinds of cool little projects and it, it's never failed me, ever. I did have a little problem today and this goes back to knowing your machine, putting it together and knowing how to fix it. So today, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but in the snake, you can see where there's some high spots. Well, turned out I needed to tighten my, my Z-axis belt. I tightened it and now on this one, no high spots. So I don't even know if that got in frame, but whatever. Don't take advice from somebody that doesn't know how to use something. That's all this video is about. I appreciate you watching this channel. Smash the like button if you agree. If you have an X carve that puts in some work and puts in some work for your business. Um, oh, another thing real quick. The guy complained about easel and was like, I need a software and Inventables needs to buy, you know, pay for a software that will try to do what I'm doing. And then he complains about having um, to pay $400 a year or something for a V-Carve Pro, whatever he said. And if you're watching this, I mean every word I'm saying. It's not a, a, anything bad against you, but I just want you to be aware of what you literally did to people watching and try, that are trying to buy an X-Carve. So <clears throat> he was complaining about buying the software and, and he acts like Inventables should get it for him so that you know he can use his X Carve with the V Carve Pro. Well, first off, people that buy eight thousand dollar machines still have to pay the four hundred dollars for V Carve Pro. You're buying a two thousand dollar machine, you still have to pay the four hundred dollars for the V Carve Pro, no matter what. It's it was it was a shopping choice you made. Yes, you may do fine detail work, and if you do small inlays, man, do I um recommend v-bit carving for that and not like 30 degree bit v-bits for inlays small inlays not no 164th um bit because this that will break very easily heck i've even broke one of these an eighth bit eighth inch down cut this is my favorite bit i have four of them so just in case you know what i mean but anyways, I'm, I'm, that was just an X-Carve rant. If you're watching this and you plan to buy an X-Carve, just know that it is a very decent machine. Will you have to put it together and will it take a while? Yes, it will. But at the end of the day, you will know how to, the, the front and back of this thing. And from my perspective, I have a, I have a surface waste board, so I do know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, the X-Carve, it may be slow, but it gets the job done. It's not no professional application. It's not 100% accurate, but nothing is. <clears throat> it's done nothing for, but good for my shop and it, it does the job and it does it well. So shout out to Invitables for making a great machine. Um, but more to come when that bundle gets here. So appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, hit that sub button if you wanna, you know, get more x carve content because it's coming and uh smash the like button if you agree with me big country out